Today, I'm going to show you something that I haven't seen anyone else do on high level. And this took me quite a while to figure out. So what I'm going to show you is how to create this interactive image carousel that you see on the screen. Something cool is that as I scroll down, the images move to the left. And as I scroll up, the images move to the right. So very, very, very interactive. What's cool as well is that as I hover my mouse through each of the images, it makes it look bigger. This I've used for a website for a client that wanted to showcase their past work. And it's a way to do it very interactively so that website visitors see this and it's just instantly eye catchy. Again, the key to web design is web design that stands out, is memorable, and that is highly converting as well. This would be something that is very eye catchy. It helps turn more visitors into to clients. So if you are a business that runs on high level or you are a agency that wants to offer websites like this to your clients, stick to the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to do everything from scratch and implement this in your own websites. My name is Rico and I run a high level web design agency. I help business owners and entrepreneurs that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. And I'll show you how you can do this as well. Now I'm here on my website editor and let's say I wanted to add that right here. It could be like maybe past testimonials or past work, or maybe I just want to feature some images in a way that's very interactive. The first thing that I would do is create a new section and I'll do it so that the rows take the entire width and then I'll add a column. And now here I'll do an image and for padding right here, make sure that all of this are set to zero. So let me just do that very quickly. Okay, so I've set all of them to zero just now, and this will be important later in the video. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four more images, so five in total. So I'll just duplicate this right here. Now I've added my images, but they're going from top to bottom. I want to make sure that they're actually going across. So what I'll do is I'll select the column where the images are housed and under content layout, I'll click this here and select horizontal. So now you see that all my images are in the same row. And the next step would be, I guess, to actually start adding the images. So let me do that very quickly and then we'll get started with the effect. So for the first image, I want to add this one right here. So I've added my five images. I'm going to go ahead and save and preview. Now, most websites on high level would just have their images like this. There's nothing wrong. It's cool, but I'm going to show you how to make it so that it's like this a lot more interactive. It looks luxury. It looks high end. It's a lot more unique and it's better than 99% of the high level websites out there. You see that as I hover my mouse over the different images, the images become bigger. So it's a lot more interactive. So let's just add this very quickly in two clicks right here. So I'll go back to the editor. I'll click the image. I'll go to advanced, select this image CSS selector right here. And I'll go to the custom CSS and then I'll paste it here. And what I'm going to do next is I have this notion doc with all of my high level web design resources that I use when I'm building websites for clients. I have a bunch of tutorials, but today we're going to be using this one right here. So I'll click this and I'll copy this piece of code right here in step six. Go back here, then I'll paste this right here, just like this. And I'll replace the, your image, your section right here with the actual image that we copied. Get rid of this right here. I'll get rid of this right here as well. Add the hover here again, because I deleted that by accident. Hit save. And as you see, as I hover my mouse over the image, it increases. And then it has this cool shadow at the bottom. So let's do that for all of them. Basically to do this is again, go back to here, copy this piece of code for each of the images. So it'd be four more times, two, three, four, five, and then replace the CSS selector for each of those. So for instance, I'll click this image number three right here, copy the CSS selector, go back here. And for image number three, I'll be pasting that right here. So let me just replace that in this place and then here as well. And I'll hit save. And as you see, image number three now has the effect. So let me just do it for all of them and then show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've added the code for all of the images. Let's just go ahead and preview. You notice now that as I hovered my mouse over each of the images, they increase size. We still haven't added the effect. So of course, when I scroll down, the images don't move left and right. What we're going to do now is add a piece of code. So I'm just going to do it here on the first section right here. And then we'll do code. We'll open the code editor. We'll go back to the Notion doc that I have. And then here under step five, I'll actually copy this right here and then paste it here. Basically what this is, 
it's a piece of code that is going to help us track the position of our scroll. So as we scroll down or up the website, the animation will move left and right. So you'll see what I mean in just a sec, but for now we'll hit save. And the other piece of code that we need to add is here at the very bottom. And now we're going to add this piece of code right here. We'll go back to the CSS selector here, and then I'm going to go to the bottom, paste it here. You see that there's some sections where it says your column and your section. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually click it right here, go to advanced, copy our CSS selector for that section, and then go back to the code and then replace it in the places where it shows up for the column. We'll place it here. We'll also replace it here. We'll hit save and we're going to preview it now. So let me just click the preview button. If you followed the steps correctly and you made sure that you added the right CSS selector for each of the sections and the columns, the animation should work. And as you scroll down, you see that it's very, very interactive. Uh, it moves based on the position of the scroll. And as I hover my mouse, the animations change. This can be done as well with testimonials, with past work, with the features that you offer, with the services. So you can really make it your own. So this is something that's very cool. And again, it took me quite a while. If you want to get this exact template that I'm showing you on screen right now, it has the effect already integrated. It has another effect, which we covered in a different video, which is the infinite logo carousel. You can go ahead and click the link in my description and get this template yourself. No need to know anything about code. You can literally plug and play into your high level account and then have it work with just a few clicks. So I hope this was valuable and hopefully this trick will help you build a website that's a little bit more interactive and stand out from other high level websites out there. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.